Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice. Here we will take up MCQs based on important news and article that have featured in the Hindu and the Indian Express newspaper. Topic for today's discussion are displayed on your screen. Let's begin the discussion. Inspiration for the first question of today's discussion comes from this news which featured on page number 6 of the Hindu newspaper. News is about release of images of Earth by ISRO as is captured by its satellite named EOS-06. The space agency said that the images are a mosaic generated by the ISRO's National Remote Sensing Center that is NRSC. Now, important development related to the field of space research have been a recurring theme in UPSC examination. As in 2018, it has asked a question based on Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System, that is ERNAS. So, let's take up today's practice question. Question says, consider the following statements regarding Earth Observation Satellite EOS-06. You have to identify the correct statements. Statement 1 says EOS is a third generation Earth observation satellite in the OceanSat satellite series. Now this is a correct statement as EOS-6 is indeed a third generation satellite in this series. This satellite was launched by the Indian Space Research Organization that is ISRO in the year 2022 on board PSLV C-54 rocket. The OceanSat satellite series is dedicated to oceanography and atmospheric studies. EOS-6 has four payloads on it, namely Argos, Ocean Color Monitor 3, Sea Surface Temperature Monitor and Ku-band Scatterometer that is SCAT-3. Now second statement says the satellite has the capability to make measurement of the ocean color, sea surface temperature and sea surface winds. Now this statement is also correct. As with the help of these four payloads, this satellite is capable of recording and collecting data related to such factors. And these data are to be used in oceanography, climatic and meteorological applications. So as you had to find the correct statement, our answer would be C that is both 1 and 2. Answer for this PYQ is A that is 1 only. Our next question is based on this featured article which came on page number 8 of the Hindu newspaper. Now according to this news, ancient city of Sishupalgarh is facing threat of demolition due to unchecked mafia activity. Now the city of Sishupalgarh is around 2700 year old and is nationally protected by the ASI that is Archaeological Survey of India. Despite this protection status, Land Mafia have encroached upon these lands destroying the important historical evidences and artifacts. Important historical locations whether they are related to some temple or some fort or some inscription or sculpture have been a recurring theme in UPSC examination. As in 2019, UPSC has asked about a sculpture inscription mentioning Ranyo Ashoka. So let's take up today's practice MCQ related to Sishupalgarh. You have to identify the correct statements. Now statement 1 says this fort flourished during the post-Harsha period. Now this statement is incorrect. As earlier from the news we know that this city is around 2700 year old. Constructions at this site belong to pre-Mauryan era and not post-Harsha period. Second statement says Fort of Sishupalgarh was constructed during the reign of King Kharavela. Now this statement is also incorrect. Duration between this pre-Mauryan construction and King Kharavela of Odisha is around 700 years. Since this fortification is built in pre-Mauryan era, this statement is also incorrect. Third statement says monolithic pillars of laterite stones are unique feature of this fort. Now this statement is correct. As till now, a constellation of 16 monolithic pillars have been identified out of which only 13 can be restored in good condition. Apart from this, the western gateway has survived which proves the presence of ancient city and a fort. And indeed, laterite stone have been used in the construction of this site. So as you had to find the correct statement, our 
आंसर वुड बी बी दैट इज थ्री ओनली आंसर फॉर दिस पी वाई क्यू इज ए दैट इज कंगना हल्ली आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस न्यूज विच फीचर्ड ऑन पेज नंबर ट्वेल्व ऑफ द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर न्यूज इज अबाउट स्टडी एंड फाइंडिंग रिलेटेड टू पीजो इलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट न्यूज ऑल्सो डिवेल्स अपॉन द इम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ दीज फाइंडिंग्स As you know important development in the field of science and technology has been a recurring theme in UPSC preliminary examination as in 2021 itself UPSC has asked a question based on features of LED lamps so let's take up today's practice MCQ based on piezo electric effect you have to find the correct statement statement 1 says it can cause a spontaneous emission of electrons from a material when exposed to light now this statement is incorrect as this is more related to photoelectric effect and not piezoelectric effect statement 2 says it is the ability of material to generate an electric charge in response to an applied mechanical stress or pressure now this statement is correct as piezoelectric effect is ability of a material to generate an electric charge in response to an applied mechanical stress or pressure statement 3 says it can only be observed in solid metals now this statement is incorrect as piezoelectric effect can be observed in several materials such as crystal ceramics bone dna protein and if the new study is to be believed even some liquid and basically ionic liquids are showing the effect of piezoelectric effect so it is not limited to solid metals only so as you had to find the correct statement our answer would be b that is 2 only answer for this pyq is c that is 1 and 3 only inspiration for our next question come from this news which featured on page number 4 of the hindu newspaper now news is about two orphan tigers who have been transferred to penge tiger reserve from the yavatmal district of maharashtra state according to forest officials this step has been taken to rewilding these two orphan tiger cubs now important wildlife sanctuaries national park tiger reserves and biosphere reserves have been a repeated theme in upsc examination as in 2019 it has asked to identify which among the following option is a correct constituent of agastha malai biosphere reserve so on a similar line we have taken up question based on another important biosphere reserve that is nilgiri biosphere reserve question is same to that of the year 2019 You have to identify which of the following given option are in Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve. Now the Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve is one of the biosphere reserve which is under Man and Biosphere Program of the UNESCO. It was included in this list in the year 2000. Now Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve is located in Nilgiri Mountains of the Western Ghats in the southern India. It is the largest protected forest area in India spreading across the state of Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka. It includes protected areas namely Mudumalai, Mukurthi National Park, Satyamangalam Wildlife Sanctuary in Tamil Nadu, Nagarhol Bandipur both in the state of Karnataka while Silent Valley, Aralam Vyanad Wildlife Sanctuary and Karim Pooja Wildlife Sanctuary in the state of Kerala. So our correct answer would be B. Answer for this PYQ is A as Agastya Malai includes following tiger reserves and wildlife sanctuaries. The next question is based on this article which featured on page number 10 of the Hindu newspaper. Article is about famous Vaikam Satyagraha which happened in the state of Kerala. Article throws lights on the various facets related to this Satyagraha and establishes how it was a significant fight for the social justice. Social reform movement have been an important theme from the perspective of UPSC examination. As in 2016 it has asked a question based on Satya Shodhak Samaj. So let's take up today's practice MCQ. You have to identify the correct statement. Statement 1 says E V Ramaswamy editor of Desha Bhimani raised the matter of temple entry with the Travancore government. Now this statement is incorrect. As it was T K Madhavan a prominent social reformer and editor of Desha Bhimani 
who took up the issue of temple entry with the Travancore administration. Vaikom in the northern part of Travancore became a center of agitation for temple entry. While E. V. Ramaswamy, that is Periyar, was a great social reformer and in 1924 he took an active part in the Vaikom Satyagraha. Statement 2 says Jathas from Punjab and Madurai supported the Vaikom Satyagraha. This statement is correct. As the Satyagraha was reinforced by Jathas from Punjab and Madurai and Gandhi also undertook a tour of Kerala in support of this movement. Third statement says Kumaran Asan launched the Satyagraha to demand that untouchables have access to Hindu temples. Now this statement is incorrect. As in 1924, the Vaikam Satyagraha which was led by K.P. Kesava was launched in Kerala demanding the throwing open of Hindu temples and roads to the untouchable. While Kumaran Asan was a famous poet and was related to Aruvipuram movement in Kerala. He became a disciple of Narayan Guru who started this Aruvipuram movement. Asan was also involved with the activities of the Sri Narayan Dharma Paripalan Yogam that is SNDP movement and became its secretary in the year 1904. So as you had to find the correct statement our answer would be C that is 2 only. Answer for this PYQ is C that is it was an anti-caste movement in the state of Maharashtra. Our last question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured in the Indian Express newspaper page number 10. News is about the recent deliberation in the UN General Assembly on the question whether countries can be sued under international law for failing to avert climate emergencies or not. Now as you all know ICJ is one of the six principal agency of the UN. And UPSC has been asking questions based on important developments related to United Nations. As in 2020 itself, it has asked a question based on powers and functions of United Nations General Assembly, that is UNGA. So we have taken up a similar question based on features related to ICJ, that is International Court of Justice. You have to consider following two statements and identify the correct one among them. Statement 1 says international organizations are not entitled to institute proceeding before the court. Now this statement is correct. As in the exercise of its jurisdiction in contentious cases, the International Court of Justice settles disputes of legal nature that are submitted to it by states in accordance with this international law. An ICJ mandates says that only states may apply to and appear before ICJ. International organization, other authorities and private individuals are not entitled to institute proceedings before the court. So statement 1 is correct as only states may apply in the ICJ for the dispute settlement. Statement 2 says panel of judges are selected by the United Nations General Assembly that is UNGA based on their merits and qualification. Now this statement is incorrect as ICJ is composed of 15 judges elected to 9 year terms in office by the UNGA and the Security Council. So they are not selected, they are elected for a term of 9 years by UNGA and Security Council. These organs vote simultaneously but separately. In order to be elected, a candidate must receive an absolute majority of votes in both the bodies. And this is the reason why there are several round of voting to achieve this absolute majority. In order to ensure a degree of continuity, one third of the court is elected every three years. Another important fact is judges are eligible for re-election also. So as you had to find the correct statement, our answer would be A that is one only. Answer for this PYQ is D that is one, two and three. That's all for today. Stay tuned for more such updates.